when you look at the state of the world today as it is, where you see poverty, the most serious sufferings of the world are also the places that lack education. I always tell my friends that this is no rocket science. And in fact, when I speak of this, I do not need to look elsewhere for justification. My own life is justification of my strong belief in education. The only difference between the West and the rest, developed and underdeveloped countries, is the fact that when you look at it, the developed countries are more educated. Now, do you need any sort of science to realize that this is where the key lies? I don't. And it is for this reason that I have devoted myself to enforcing education as the primary aim for any African government willing to empower its people um, for the next generation. Because with education, people devise ways of implementing ideas that empowers their own lives. They wouldn't have to look elsewhere. But what is happening right now is because most of the countries in Africa um, have enormous levels of illiteracy, everyone is telling them what to do. That's what is happening. The people are not empowered enough to devise a way of tackling their own problems. And no society develops that way. Look back in history. The greatest empires were the most educated empires. The Spartans were better soldiers because the Spartans trained their children from early age to become educated and smart soldiers. We do not need to look very far to understand that education is what is important. So I'll proceed with this idea of becoming the change, which is developed from the Gandhian principle of we must be the change we wish to see in the world. And I'm pretty sure that you've heard this phrase before. Our politicians, our leaders use it all the time. I often think, I think there must be a rule that whenever people use this phrase, they must be required to live by it. If we do that, we would have a better world than we do. Uh, but today, I want to create a new meaning. So that when you look at this phrase, it is not just a phrase. What Gandhi, I believe, was communicating is the fact that everything in the world that matters to us is artificial. We create poverty. We have sufficient resources for humans to thrive. But the rich is becoming richer. And the poor poorer in the same community. And I believe that the source of that is our educational systems. The young are not being told their obligations to society. No matter what your beliefs are, you are not individuals. You come into this world, into a community of people, and you become automatically signed to a social contract. And we must be reminded day to day of our obligations and duties, that social contract. And I think the primary place that should come from is our educational institutions. Our teachers, professors, parents get to interact with us at a tender stage of our lives when we are trying to create who we are. And if we do not have sufficient guidance to lead us in a direction that is useful for society and for humanity, we achieve what we wish to see in the world. Which is why education is also very important. And only us can solve the problems we have. There are no other solutions, no outlandish solutions for us. It is only humans. Because most of the country, the, 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 the problems that we deal with are created. We start war. We destroy the environment. Only us can plant trees. 
Only us can minimize our ways of living so that it conforms to the limited resources that we have to share with the rest of the world. If we are really serious about being the change we wish to see in the world, we be very serious about taking individual actions in our own small little caves that can impact the world at large. And that was the idea that I came to skateboard with. I was not only here to get science, economics, philosophy, and government in my head, and then go out and make money if I find a job nowadays. I was here to be formed, to absorb what was available to me, to make sense of the world as it is, to be my brother's keeper. 